So next, moving on to the employee creation in the payroll section. Here I'm creating an employee that is the employee card is already default, and I created the designation for the employee, and entered the marital status and the qualification and the joining date of the employee. And the salary type I can create here that is a monthly. And uh, right down here, I can enter the details of the address of the employee. And under that, you can uh, give a tick mark that is active. And after entering the address of the employee, you can just move on to the next section that is the employee name is given. So right now, I can uh, give a desired name for the employee. And next, his date of birth is given. You can just select from the drop down menu the desired date. And write down, you can enter the gender of the employee. And after that, you can enter the blood group. And uh, if the employee is terminated, so you can give the termination date. And if it's not terminated, it's inactive. And uh, already we have given a salary package in the previous forms. So just select accordingly a salary package out there. And next is the field is now phone number. You can just enter the phone number of the employee out there and you can enter the mobile number and next the email address of the employee can be filled okay that section is over and over to the next section that is the salary account details the bank name account bank number and the branch details of the bank branch code everything can be given out there in this section And after that, over to the next section that is the statutory details. That is the PAN number details, PF number, ESI number of the employee. Everything can be filled out there. So that's it with that and you can just save it. So that is saved successfully. So next, what we are going to do is that just close this. And next we are moving to on to the employee register. So in the payroll, you can just go to the employee register. And here... Already we have created an employee that is in with the employee called nine. So I just selected that employee. So you can see the details of that employee. So if you want to clear it, you just press the clear button. And I just closed it. So moving on again to the employee register. So if I feel whatever I just want to do an updation in it, I just selected that employee and I'm updating the address of the employee. Or if I just want to change the marital status of the employee, I just can change it. And I just can press the update. So, next, what we are doing is that, according to the em same employee code, I just select accountant. That is, I am searching for that. So, I can search accordingly by the selection of the designation or through the, el through the employee name, you can just do the search. So if I just press the same designation, I can view that and if I want to delete, I can select it and delete. So next moving on to the employee creation in the payroll section. Here I am creating an employee that is the employee card is already default and I created the designation for the employee and entered the marital status and the qualification and the joining date of the employee. And the salary type I can create here, that is a monthly.